time to slice and dice. <laughs> We've got... Remember this? None of our neighbors know that we do YouTube. Okay, y'all, Bunky and I, I feel like are probably about to make one of the best dinners we've ever made. We actually got the big green egg from home this past weekend, and we have missed this more than we miss our friends and family. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally joking, but seriously, we have missed it so much. Like, all the time, we always say like, I wish we could go make something on the Big Green Egg. So anyway, we have it, we are pumped. We're gonna try a new recipe on it, plus something very special. We're gonna have some skin on chicken thighs. Yep, a new, we have a whole new cooking whole technique. Whole new everything, okay? We're so pumped. Um, it's a big green experiment. It really is. We're making homemade all ground potatoes, but you'll see because it's not just your normal all ground potatoes. We've got some green beans, all the things. And so we're having a very casual, fun night in the Bunky House, and we're going to bring you guys along for it. We have a lot to cook, so let's get started. Time to slice and dice. <laughs> and everything nice. Okay. We have not used this in a very long time. And to tell you that I'm not a nervous Nancy would be an understatement. Well, my goal is to keep all fingers, fingertips, fingernails, skin. Is that too much? Well, we're gonna try and keep everything attached. If y'all know, you know. Yeah. If you've seen Bunky use this thing, it's a scary situation. But we'll we'll figure that out later. <sighs> no, you have to pro you have to it, Bunky. No, that has to be attached completely. No, I know, I know. I, I'm saying I'm I'm I don't know how to. There we go, got it. We're gonna use some gold potatoes and we're gonna slice them super, super thin. Our sweet followers have sent us gloves mm -hmm. to use with this. Please tell me you're gonna put them on. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go try and, um, I well. In the move, I feel like we've. In the move, I don't know exactly where they are, but I have an idea of where they are. So I'm gonna go search for them. I quick. hope we can find them. Okay, in our move, we're not sure exactly where we put the gloves. So we're doing this free-handed. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, we still have this, the, uh, you know, this item that it comes with, but this can be a little bit cumbersome, you know, like it makes it not as easy as if you're just able to freely move with your hand, Uh huh. but it's dangerous freely moving with your hand unless you're like expert level. Right. And I'm not expert level. We know. We all know Bunky. One of the few times I used expletives in our... <laughs> this is very true. There was that, and there was the bird. And the biscuits. And the biscuits, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, I'm generally pretty calm. <laughs> Ooh, that was... Remember how you can go forward and backwards? You cannot. Well, you're supposed to be able to. You know, he had a special... But, remember last time you did this, you were like, Oh, look, you're supposed to be able to do this. And I was like, oh yeah, because it was the way you were holding it or something. Well, I think you can just go like... Like that, but okay. it's only gonna slice it one way. Okay, well you go ahead, try. Oh, and we're, and we are in. <laughs> you see that? Wow. We don't, do we want, we don't want that one because it has the skin on the whole thing, right? Yeah. Can we just tell y'all the reason why Bunky loves the mandolin is because they're all perfectly even oh slices. Gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Here we go. In that one, you push no. away. No, yeah, no, no. <laughs> this might be a little too oh, thick. Oh, but we are too thick. Okay, we need these to be a little bit thinner. Okay, well we can adjust. By the end of this, we will know. 
how to properly use this. I'm not sure how. Because there's a, see, there's a handle to grip with right here. I always had it facing the wrong. Well, I shouldn't say always, but I had it facing the wrong way in our initial demonstration. However, this is how you properly use a mandolin. Okay, so now that we have all of our potatoes beautifully, perfectly sliced, and this is like the consistency we're looking for, almost see-through, paper thin. And this is like, how many, four or five? I was four. Four, I would say on the larger side, gold potatoes. So now we need to make our like creamy mixture that we're gonna pour over top of these potatoes. And the um, recipe where we got this from, he used it like, he used it. Is that what I just said? Mm -hmm. He used it. <laughs> he used um, roasted garlic and he found it in a squeeze tube. I searched our grocery store and could not find that. So I don't have roasted garlic. I'm just going to use regular garlic. And then he used goat cheese, but he used truffle goat cheese. And my grocery store did not have truffle goat cheese, but we've got remember this the smoky the truffle. Smoky truffle. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that into our little mixture to give it a little truffle taste because I think that's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Um, and then he used chives, and since I don't love onions, we're gonna use like um all kinds of herbs, like Italian seasoning. These are going to be ah. crazy delectable, okay? Okay, so we're gonna start with heavy whipping cream. And I only have a little bit in here, so I have another container. If this is not enough, what do you think? That might be like the perfect amount. Is that about a cup? That's probably like three fourths of a cup. I think we have a little bit less potato than him. I'm gonna add in some milk. Is that good? Mm -hmm. And then next I have some goat cheese and I'm just gonna kind of break this up as I add it into my mixture. Okay, go ahead and kind of whisk this all together until that goat cheese almost like combines with the cream and milk. Okay, now I'm gonna add in my smoky truffle. And this is kind of salty, so I don't wanna use too much, but just enough to kind of give it that little truffle flavor. Perfect. And then I'm gonna add in my garlic. And y'all know we like a lot of garlic, so I'm just gonna do kind of a big spoonful. And then our little herbs. I have been getting these at the grocery store and we love them. They are perfect to just kind of like top any dish. We had the basil one as well and it was really good. Um, so anyways, I'm just going to add a good amount of this in here to our mixture. And then lastly, I had some of this mozzarella and provolone and I thought that sounded really good to add in there. So I'm just going to do like a little handful and then mix this all together. Okay, this mixture already smells amazing. Bunky is outside getting the big green egg all fired up so he can go ahead and get that hot. And then I'm gonna take our potatoes and just kind of mix them into that mixture, get them all incorporated, kind of let them sit for just like five minutes and then we'll start layering it into our cast iron skillet. Bunky said he's buttered me up. <laughs> Get my cast iron skillet ready. You need to go ahead and preheat your oven to 400. If you're gonna just make these, like the normal recipe, you're gonna bake it in the oven for like an hour, hour and a half at 400. But we're not making them normal. No. We're gonna start them out normal. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, you got me all buttered I might have, up. I might have got a little, uh, there is no such thing as extra butter. You leave all yeah, that goodness in there. I mean, I'm trying, but I don't know where it's gonna go. But you know, we'll we'll figure that out, won't we? Oh, it's gonna just <laughs> just be marrying it all together. Okay, I told Bunky not to wash his hands because <laughs> since no. they're already all buttered up. I got a joke. I got a joke. Oh, tell me. What is the uh, what is the thing the thing that they say? The baby better let a finger on my butter finger. Uh huh. Butterfingers. You got butterfingers. Okay. okay, so since B has butterfingers, I'm gonna let him keep his hands dirty and do the potato situation. Mm -hmm. So, the I'm gonna turn the brightness down because I know y'all always are talking about the brightness, but I cannot help it in this house. Um, okay, so we're gonna take the potatoes and as much as you can layer them flat mm -hmm. instead no, of no like fold overs, no fold overs, and don't like 
thickly bunch them together. Even larynx. And you you would be the perfect person for this, okay? I hope I do not disappoint. You won't. So then just keep making your little layers. And then basically once all this is layered, there's going to be a bunch of liquid and cheese at the bottom of this bowl. And that's what we will dump on top. I'm just going to tell you though, I'm not doing this right here. Because there's going to be like milky cream Seepage. cheese drippage that yeah. we're not dripping. Okay, let's do it somewhere else. Yeah. Where do you want to go? You want to know something? What? This, just as the gentleman was saying, uh -huh. this already smells out of this world. I know, it really does. What did Uncle Mark say, Bunky? What did he say? Do the work. That's right. You put in this work now, the result is going to be off the charts. It really is. Okay, now while B finishes this, I'm gonna go ahead and get our marinade started for our chicken. And I think this is Paula Dean's recipe. We have seen Fallon from Moss Family TV make this, or this is how they make their chicken all the time. And every time we watch them make chicken like this, we're like, that sounds absolutely incredible and they always rave about it. So we gotta try it out. So it's just Worcestershire sauce, melted butter, and lemon juice. I'm pretty sure that is all that they use. I'm gonna melt our butter on the stove top. We'll dump in our Worcestershire and our lemon juice and then kind of let it just simmer for a minute. And then we'll use that to marinate and baste our chicken on the grill. I literally have mouth jets. Mouth jets. Like going full stream. Wow. Every potato is accounted for. Strategically placed now. Okay, so you see how we have all of this. Oh wait, I forgot one. Oh. Let me get that one. <laughs> a little sloppa. <laughs> I love a sloppa bunkie. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take all that excess and just pour it right on top. She is already a beauty. Oh my goodness, this thing is heavy. Okay. It's gonna go into the oven at 400 and we're gonna let it cook in there for like, we'll say 30, 45 minutes. But then we're gonna take it out and put it on the big green egg to finish. Okay, first of all, how's it going out there? We're fired up. We're fired up, ready we're to go. We're fired up, <laughs> Is it seriously ready? Um, I'm still trying to get the temperature dialed in to where it needs to be. Uh huh. But I can, I can get that taken care of. Okay, these, y'all. Don't be open the It's like delectable, okay? Then over here we have our chicken. So I have four um, skin on bone in chicken thighs. And then I have this um, piece of chicken that's just been marinating in some barbecue sauce that just needs to be cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Bunky cook that while he's got the grill going. Now, do you want to go ahead and put some of that marinade on here? Or you wanna wait till it gets on the grill? I wanna wait till it gets going a little bit. And you'll just baste it. Yeah, after we get, you know, to a certain point. Because I usually, but these these look a little smaller than normal. Yeah, so. Well, give me the blend. Like take about 45. I like to cook them low and slow and. Yeah. About 45 minutes on them. Mm. Bunny loves to cook everything low and slow. <laughs> Hand me the blend, baby. Okay. What's wrong? <laughs> My toe is cramping. I think the temperature has dropped so much. Got acclimated to that warm weather. <laughs> What? My toe is cramping. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of the blend and put on here and then we'll baste them once they get going. But you know, you gotta season your chicken with something. Okay, don't tell Bunky because he just walked back outside. But I'm gonna put a spoonful of this on each one of those pieces of chicken before he puts them on the grill. I just think, you know, go ahead and get that flavor incorporated. After you. I hope this is heavy duty foil. I don't know if it is, B. <laughs> what if it splits? Well, hopefully it doesn't tear. Oh gosh. Face down first? Yeah. The skin no, side down? No, skin side up first. Oh. I want that skin to get crispy now. You know what I just thought about? What? I'm dying laughing. What? None of our neighbors know that we do YouTube. Oh yeah. 
And if they are looking out their windows, they are wondering why we're standing here with the camera. <laughs> it's quite all right. They're going to find out eventually. I guess so. Get in there. Okay. I got it? Yeah, I, well, I'll put it to where it's going to be pretty much come out flat for you. There you go. Oh. Okay. All right. We are cooking with fire. The ultimate cooking experience. Yes, and tell us what you're going to do with the chicken. We're going to baste it and cook it for like... 45 minutes in my experience that's how long we've typically cooked like dark meat chicken that's bone in several like a long cook but nice the bone yeah the bone in makes it more tender yeah it's oh flavor. my it's goodness the flavor bomb bone the flavor bone yes today can you see me yeah oh okay i think i hope how's my hair look <laughs> it looks good <laughs> you can't see your hair um listen today's at the grocery store i saw they had the split chicken breast bone in skin on mm -hmm. that is my favorite we what? have to make that soon why didn't you get those i was afraid they would take too long to cook because you should be okay hang on. usually we do those like on saturdays or sundays when we have like more time mm -hmm. so we gotta make those soon these are gonna be good <laughs> our neighbors can probably hear us no don't shh you know part of well we live, our, our neighbors are further away from us physically now than they were before. Oh, way further. So, you know, we gotta, we gotta get that out of our head. It's true, this is true. Although they can probably still hear us. Oh, and see us. Yes. Okay, it's only been less than 45 minutes and it's supposed to cook for like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. I think we might be done though. I'm it has not even gone on the big green egg yet. That was a surprise. We already said it. No, we did. Yeah, Bunky, we you did. You started saying it, but then you said, then we no. back. Open the oven. It's going to burn. <laughs> it is not going to burn. B, wait till you see this. Holy smolies. <gasps> wow. Let me turn this down so you can see this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Why is it so cooked on top already? I know. I don't think we can even put it on the BGE. No, I think it's done. I don't think so. I think those potatoes got to keep on cooking and becoming friends with everybody in there. But I mean, they're friends. They're friends. Do you see it? I mean, it's looking pretty friendly in there, but I'm just thinking there's a chance that it could keep cooking for like maybe another 15, 20. Maybe. 10 minutes on the BGE. Okay, I'll agree to that. Okay, go put it on there. Do you have your little rack set it up? Let's go check on this chicken. Let's, Let's go check, check on the chicken. Check on chicken. Chicken could probably use another marinade. Douse it. Let's, let's marinate the douse. Let's douse the marinade. Let me see. I doubt y'all are gonna be able to see this. Give it a little love tap. Give it a little love tap. Wow. This Have here, you used this yet? No, this is the first time we've ever used <laughs> the second rack. <laughs> you just put it over top? Well, this normally, you might would normally have put it on here. You can burn your hand. There we go. But can I just tell you, the smell of this is crazy. I wish y'all could smell it. And this is going to hold this concern so it's this heavy. That's what they say. Oh, that's very durable. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. I wasn't even, I was watching. <laughs> it's very right, durable. But you gotta, let me, I think this cast iron might be too big. You think? Close think it. So. Try and close it. It's not going to close. <laughs> <laughs> I turned the oven off so it'll just sit in there and just... You don't want to like just like have it cool like okay hanging out at maybe like three hundred. Bunky, I'm gonna have it hang out at three fifty. I can agree to that. Twenty twenty five more minutes. No, ten B. Plus fifteen. Hey oh, where's Crunchy? Well, she was outside. Oh my gosh, we left Daisy May outside. Oh, you did. You didn't want to close the door on her. Daisy. Probably tried to go around front. Daisy May. Oh, we have, oh, there she is. Okay, if we don't start cutting into this soon, I'm going to like take a nosedive <laughs> into these. Oh, show me the chicken, show me the chicken. 
It's done? Oh yeah, come come this way. Now. Oh, this looks good, <laughs> B. Is that looking good? Yeah, it looks incredible. Let me turn up this brightness so y'all can see it. This looks super delicious. Yeah, you know what's not gonna be on our plates? What? Green beans? Green beans. <laughs> Listen, all this other stuff was a lot of work. I didn't make the green beans. Some things took priority over the green beans. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where to get in here. I'm just gonna like do a little are, something, something. Are you cutting a piece of pie? I'm cutting a piece of pie, Bonk. Potato pie. Yes. We've gone from spaghetti pie to potato pie. Oh my <laughs> goodness. You might need to bring that plate over. Okay. That's, that's far enough. Okay. Oh my goodness. I can't even deal right now. Wow. I literally cannot deal. That was a joke. Let me let me cut a whole other piece of pie. Real quick. Do you see? Look at this, Ed. Look at this over here. Oh my goodness, my mouth's watering. Okay. Uh, I think that's a good serving. That's a good serving. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm excited. Okay, I cannot wait another moment. And just so y'all know, neither of us have taken one bite of- Not, not so much as a sniff. Nothing <laughs> of these potatoes. So this is gonna be our true reaction. Y'all. If you never, I mean, if you ever needed a reason to get a mandolin. This is it. It is so you can slice your potatoes this thin and make this right here. The thinness of those potatoes <laughs> make them like a little bit crunchy. Oh my God. I am dead at these potatoes. So tender. I am dead at these potatoes. Oh my goodness. I don't even like potatoes. I know. It's almost like you're having... They're so thin, they like melt in your mouth. Exactly. Oh my gosh. There's no need for the chicken. No. They're so creamy. They're not overly rich, just like perfect. They don't seem like so dense and heavy as you would think. It's more like light. You can taste the goat cheese in there. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny bit of the truffle, not even like a lot of that. I probably could have added more truffle. Kind of get a little bit of the uh, the herbs too. Yeah, the herbs. Those are such tender, delicious potatoes. It's like we've never eaten potatoes before. And you were trying to tell me to use a knife to cut those. Oh my gosh. You gotta have them super thin, okay. paper thin. Okay, I gotta try this chicken. I am so excited to try this marinade. Mmm. I can't even get over the potatoes, first of all, but I gotta try this chicken. First of all, I love the skin on chicken thighs. Mm, it's my favorite part. But it is really good. It's like bright, you know? It's bright, but you can still taste the Worcestershire. Mm-hmm. It's really, really good. Most delicious. Mm-hmm. We always see Titus and Fallon making the best chicken with this marinade. Okay, this dinner is like a 12 out of 10. It is crazy good. I hope y'all will try these recipes and tell us what you think. If you make these potatoes, you literally have to tell us you your will, thoughts. And you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. It was so good. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us tonight in the kitchen. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all. I don't know that you can really tell from, from this, but this right here, is a chicken nugget. <laughs> Ain't that a chicken nugget, Bunky? That is. You see? small. You know, I told y'all the original recipe for these potatoes had that like roasted garlic squeeze paste in there. Oh man. I literally cannot even imagine how much better they would be or could be because they're already so good. Yeah. So like that would be ridiculous if you can find that. I say like that's next level. But listen, if we make these again, which obviously we're going to, um, and I have like more time, I'm definitely going to roast garlic prior and then add that in because I'm telling you, 
Like, it will be the greatest thing you've ever eaten in your life. Mm -hmm. You know what would be good, too? What? If we actually had the chives in there. No. I thought this was going to be such an undertaking. Like, just so much work to make homemade all ground potatoes. But truly, it's really not that hard or difficult. Maybe a little time consuming, but barely. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. As long as you have a mandolin. Yes. And I know oh, I know y'all asked. I will link the one that we have in my description box for you. What? How else are you going to slice, thin slice, paper thin potatoes that quickly? This is true. I do think that you have to have a mandolin. I really do. I guess you don't have to, but it... No, it, you pretty much. If you want to save all that time that you're making reference to, get you a mandolin. Yeah. This was just crazy good.